So, you want to work at the Columbia Chronicle, huh? Sure you do, and this video will tell you why working here will be one of the best decisions you make at Columbia. We have staff members from the present as well as the past who will share their experiences and memories working in this office. We've won numerous awards and we're nationally recognized. But first, let us take you on a tour of the production day, perhaps the most important day of the week at the Columbia Chronicle. Our production day starts at 9.30 in the morning on Fridays. By now, all of the reporters have done their interviews, so it's time to put those beautifully crafted words on top-notch pages that are designed with the utmost creativity and edginess. Reporters have to send their completed stories through our copy desk, where each story is edited for factual and grammatical purposes. The story is returned to the reporter and he or she makes those changes, then submits it in time to our management team, where the story then goes through another round of edits Again, for factual and grammatical purposes. Once that process has been completed, the story is now ready for layout. We use publishing software known as InDesign. This is where those award-winning stories and beautifully designed graphics you have the pleasure of reading and viewing every week are made. Stories are once again re-read for accuracy purposes and they've gotten the final okay, the story can be finalized. Sometimes we manage to be done by midnight. Other times, let's just say many bars are closed by the time we're finished. The Chronicle also employs four advertising executives, four photographers, and three multimedia reporters and producers who created this video. My name is Heather Schrering, and I am the nightlife reporter at Red Eye. I'm Sabah Salim. I'm the copy chief at The Chronicle. At the end of my sophomore year, I heard about The Chronicle, and I really, at that point, hadn't had much job experience or you know hadn't had an internship and I was still sort of trying to figure out what I wanted to do in my journalism career and I really just felt like the Chronicle was the best way to explore that. Um, I was hired over the summer and I started working there my junior year. Worked there all year long. I was editor-in-chief my senior year. Well I get to meet pretty much every writer because at one point or another I'm going to be asking them questions about their work, asking them for clarification making sure that my edits make sense so that I'm not changing the meaning of what they write. So I get to meet new people. Um, I get to edit, which is something I like to do. I'm Alexander Aguieri, and I'm a graphic designer here at the Columbia Chronicle. Immediately when I entered into the interview, you could see that they, they had a, a presence that was very serious, and they, they took themselves seriously. And um, I knew that for me, that's a big deal when I decide to like, you know, stay somewhere or, or, or commit to something. Is you know, the, how do the other people you know respond um, to to the environment that they put themselves in? You know, the integrity that they have. And so the Chronicle immediately um, had that. And so for me, it was an it was an automatic fit. My name is Max Green. I am the sports and health editor at the Columbia Chronicle. Last semester, I collaborated uh, with the features editor on a piece that was about the process of translating literature. And we were uh, recognized at uh, ICPA, the Illinois College Press Association uh, Awards, uh, back in February for that piece. We got an honorable mention. Um, we have also collaborated on a couple of other pieces over the course of this and last semester. Um, I've received some really good feedback both from professors and students about uh, some of the health-related topics that, uh, that I've covered. Uh, the student body also seems to really respond to the Renegades coverage, which is in our section. We do a lot of the sports coverage uh, on campus, and uh, that's always something that people are wanting to hear about. So my favorite story that I've done so far would probably be um, the Pelcohol story, just because um, it's a new substance that would be coming out that um, not a lot of people really know about, but it's drawn a lot of criticism. So that was a really interesting article for me to write. It's a valuable news source. Um, it's, it's, it has um, thorough content where you can actually learn from what you're reading. It's not just a whole bunch of fluff like a lot of these news sources. It's an award-winning paper, uh, newspaper, especially during the era where print journalism or newspaper industry is dying. Um, also, uh, it allows, it, it always puts the spotlight on the students. It is the prime example of what Columbia College is. It's, you, you get real world experience, you get your, you have a real byline, you're working for a real newspaper, and it's 
being viewed by real people, a real audience, not just inside the college. I mean, I can think of maybe a few other programs like that at Columbia, but I mean, this is really the journalism. It is like the star of the journalism department. It's Baxter Barrowcliffe, and I'm the arts and culture editor at the Chronicle. I'm sitting here Monday through Friday, 40 hours a week, really working on what I want to do with my life while going to school. So those pair together and it's just made me a much better writer than I was, you know, a year ago when I hadn't been at the Chronicle. It's Lindsay Woods, and I'm an editor and designer at the Chicago Tribune. Not only are we informing people, but we're holding the administration accountable in a way that nobody else can. I don't know who else on campus has the type of access, has the type of readership, has the type of journalism training and background and experience to hold these entities accountable like the, chroni like the Chronicle does. Um, and not only hold them accountable for where our tuition dollars are going, but how honest they're being about it. Oh, the Chronicle was a lifesaver for me because when I came into this business, uh, I was very new. I'd never worked on a school newspaper before. Uh, I had not experienced deadlines and all those sorts of things. And so being on the Columbia Chronicle, gave me an opportunity to learn about deadlines. It gave me an opportunity to learn about uh, uh, preparing a story and presenting a story uh, and reporting and all of those types of things. Since I've started at the Chronicle, I've really developed a skill for writing and editing and finding where the news is and finding my angles for my story. And not only have I learned so much here, but I've kind of inherited a, a family and a support system that I will always have, even past graduation. So there you have it. We take pride in our work. To apply for employment with us, visit www.columbiachronicle.com employment. Thanks for watching. I'm Jacqueline Seleski.